Okay, boundaries. All right, let's take a look at Jesus' boundaries. Mark 1 verse 35. And in the morning, rising up great while before the day, he went out and departed into a solitary place and there prayed. Key word, solitary place. He was there alone. All right. Matthew 14 and verse 23. And when he had sent the multitude away, notice this, he sent them away. He went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. Key word, there alone. He was there alone. Luke 6 and verse 12. And it came to pass in those days that he went out into a mountain to pray and continued all night in prayer to God. Notice that. Key word, continued all night in prayer to God. You see, Jesus had a need to get away, even from his own disciples, even from the people that he served. Yeah. Recognize people who bring you down. Emotional vampires, that is, other people that have a powerful negative effect on your emotions. Recognize those people. I think about Nehemiah building the wall. Don't have time to go into the story, but Nehemiah was trying to rebuild the wall, and there were these people, a couple of people, emotional vampires. They, they kept sending out threats and false accusations and death threats and sending letters back and forth and fear tactics to stop Nehemiah from building the wall. Now, in other words, all of these are things that people do to us to try to stop us. Had Nehemiah given to his emotions, he would have stopped building the wall. If he'd have listened to the death threats and the false accusations and the letters and all the fear tactics, you know, don't let people stop you. And a lot of times all it takes is just, you know, in, on an emotional level, you letting things bring you down and coming to a point where you're so depressed and you just feel like giving up. Don't allow that to happen to you. John 12 and verse 9. Notice this story. This is an incredible story. Much people, the Jews, therefore knew that he was there, that is Jesus. And they came not for Jesus' sake only, but they, they might see Lazarus also, whom he had raised from the dead. You know, Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead, and the people, I mean, this is like a show here. They're wanting to see this man who was, who was dead, who is now alive, okay? But the chief priests consulted that they might put Lazarus also to death, because that by reason of him, many of the Jews went away and believed on Jesus. Notice this. They wanted to kill, these emotional vampires wanted to kill Lazarus all over again. I mean, it's almost funny to think about. I mean, here's a man that was raised from the dead. He wasn't dead. He was raised from the dead, and now they want to kill him all over again. Not only did they want to kill Jesus. Now, think about the emotional impact upon Christ here. Not only did, did they want to kill Jesus, they wanted to destroy any evidence of the good work he had done, and that is raising Lazarus. Can you imagine the emotional feedback Christ was experiencing? It's like, okay, they want to kill me, but they also want to kill the man that I raised from the dead. This is how bizarre. I mean, this, this is the kind of situation and people and emotions that Jesus had to deal with. Check us out on the web at isthatreallyinthebible.com.